Giving action to your desires could mean getting uncomfortable. Are your most important desires just dreams or are they goals? Dreams are nice. They give our imagination free reign. We see ourselves in beautiful places doing incredible things with wonderful people. We should all dream as big as we can. The problem with dreams is when they stay that way. Sure, they are enjoyable to think about. But if you don't do anything with them, their joy is short-lived. Reality slaps you in the face, and you have to get back into the business of living life. Give a dream a plan, and it becomes an actionable goal. When you start to plan how to make a dream come true, you turn a desire, just a nice thought, into a possibility which can become a reality. You can start to see it form. Your mind begins to figure out what resources, efforts, and steps will be needed to go from desire to reality. While you are forming those plans, you might experience some discomfort. That's normal. If you're trying to create a reality you don't already enjoy, you may have to do some things you haven't done before. This creates a little pushback in your mind. It's fueled by a combination of the ego side of your psyche and your survival instinct. They're concerned if you do something differently than what you've been doing that may threaten your survival in some way. This a knee-jerk reaction to change that started with your earliest ancestors. While it's normal, natural, and quick to act, it could hold you back from experiencing your deepest desires. Take a lesson from Goldilocks. You might be familiar with the fable of Goldilocks and the three bears. Goldilocks stumbled across a house in the woods. She went inside and found the house vacant, not knowing it was home to three bears. She sampled porridge, chairs, and beds, looking for a just-right experience. Goldilocks was trying to get comfortable. She was looking for a feeling that was familiar to her. You probably remember that her journey to seek familiar comfort ended with her dealing with three very unhappy bears. Comfort is fine, but it's limiting. If you live a comfortable life, you are doing better than many people. Unfortunately, this means you may never realize your biggest dreams and deepest desires. Oftentimes, it takes stepping outside of your comfort zone to achieve your goals and dreams. If you currently live the most incredible life you could imagine, it makes sense to stay right where you are. You are doing well. You can't imagine life getting any better. This is fantastic. If you're not living your dream life, you will have to make changes. That means getting out of your comfort zone. You'll have to try new things. You may have to acquire new skills and put yourself in the company of people or situations where you feel uncomfortable. This is where you find the ability to turn your desires into reality. As you continue to push and expand your comfort zone, you learn more. You become more. Initial discomfort leads to achievement and a few more steps down the path to living your dream life. Don't be scared to get uncomfortable if you want to turn a desire into your reality. Forget these three words to give your desires life. There is no better time than the present for chasing down your dreams. That might sound obvious since you can't travel back in time, but you don't want to put it off for years either. Are there any long-held goals you wish you had started years ago? Ever wonder, if you had started them back then, would it now be a reality? There's no need to fret over the past since you can't change it. However, that means that today, right now, is the ideal time for you to turn a desire into a reality. Is there something you want very badly? Perhaps you've been trying to take the first step for a very long time, but for whatever reason, you haven't been successful so far. It's certainly not because you don't have a strong desire. You think about it all of the time. It's never far from your thoughts. This dream reality is so important to you that you've told others about it. You know that one day, you will begin your journey to achieving it. Alas, it is still nothing more than a dream. That may be because you embrace the three little words that keep so many people from living their best lives ever. 
choose decisiveness over procrastination. What three words are we talking about? We're referring to the fact that you might promise to start the business you've always wanted as soon as you get the money. You may have plenty of startup funds. Money is not an issue. You're financially capable of starting your own business, the one you've been dreaming about forever. Perhaps there are other reasons that right now isn't the best time to take action. You're not giving up on your desire. You're just putting it on the back burner and letting it simmer at a low temperature. It's always there, letting you know it's ready when you are. You can crank up the temperature on this imaginary stove any time to get your desire boiling. There is no doubt in your mind that you will turn your desire into a reality as soon as you tie up a current issue you're involved in. Maybe there is some other as soon as excuse. Decide to act now. The Wright brothers didn't know how they were going to fly. They didn't start trying to fly as soon as. They had all the knowledge and all the resources. They just began chasing their dream. Their decision to start even before they had all the knowledge and resources is the choice that has the entire world flying today. No time is ever going to be perfect. If you are waiting for everything to align, you will be waiting forever. You will never take action, it's guaranteed. Action takers create results. Whereas as soon as procrastinators create excuses, don't let those three words stop you from living the life of your dreams. Start today. Take action in pursuit of a dream. You don't have to know how it's going to happen or have everything you need to complete it. You simply need to take action today and every day. Taking consistent action will move you closer to living your dream reality. Give your desires life with a virtual vision board. Think back to when you first got your license to drive. You felt such a sense of independence. Ideas started rapidly firing through your mind about where you would go and what you would do now that you could drive. Even though you had earned your driver's license and could now legally pilot a vehicle, you might have experienced a roadblock in your driving plans. You didn't have a car. Sure, your parents would let you use their vehicle occasionally, but not as often as you would like. You couldn't just get up and go whenever you wanted. And using the vehicle owned by your parents came with a lot of stipulations. If you had your own vehicle, you wouldn't have to drive only at certain times and certain distances away from your home, like your parents asked when you used their car. So you started working hard. You took any and every job you could. You saved all the money you made. Your friends heard you say no so many times when they asked you to go to a movie or go shopping that they quit asking you. Every single penny you earned was getting put away so you could buy your first car. You finally scraped together the money and bought the first car you could afford. It wasn't exactly what you wanted. It may not have been the right color. It certainly wasn't the model you wanted, but it was yours. You were a car owner, and now you could drive whenever and wherever you desired. Visualization moves your desires into actions and then realities. Your conscious mind tells your subconscious mind what to do. Your subconscious mind doesn't care. It just quietly takes action on the belief that whatever your conscious mind told it is in fact reality. This is why visualization is so powerful. Long before you were old enough to drive, you started visualizing yourself behind the wheel of a car. You saw all the places you were going to go. You imagined how cool you would look to your friends and how much they would admire you. Your constant thoughts were about getting your driver's license and a car. You might have hated studying at school, but you didn't mind studying for your driver's exam. You asked your friends what the test was like. You may have asked a friend, sibling, or one of your parents to let you drive their vehicle in a safe environment so you could practice. The point is that your constant thinking and visualizing of the result of successfully driving your own car eventually led to that reality. This is what vision boards can do. They help turn a thought into reality. If you desire something strongly enough, a vision board helps you take action on that desire. 
you visualize what is needed to reach the desired goal. How to use a virtual vision board to give your desires power. You may own a mobile phone. Most of the world does. You're going to use that constant access to the internet to start realizing your goals and your desires. Think about your biggest desire. Give it emotions. What will it feel like when it becomes a reality? Go through your five senses and experience your desire as if it has happened. Then, take the following steps to create your virtual vision board. Imagine your life with your desire as a reality. What will it be like when you fulfill this big dream? Visit every aspect of your life and see how it has changed for the better. Head online. Look for pictures, images, and photographs that portray your dream fulfilled. Do a Google image search for the keywords associated with your desire. You can search Shutterstock, Pixabay, iStock, Unsplash, Freepik, Pexels, and other stock image and photo websites. Collect multiple images associated with the desire you want to experience and the emotions you will feel when it becomes a reality. Use MS Paint, Design Wizard, GIMP, or Canva to design your board. You can also choose from one of the following vision board apps that are custom made for this process. Visions 2 Board, Dream It Alive, Dream Vision Board, Corculus, Mind Movies, Give Your Desires Life, Create a Virtual Vision Board, Look at it frequently, several times a day. This keeps your dreams fresh in your mind. Your subconscious will start to notice that this is important to you. This constant reminder gives you the motivation to do something every day to turn these dreams into reality. A virtual vision board takes a simple thought and motivates you to take action on it. That's how thoughts become realities. It's how your desires are achieved. Name your inner critic to give your desires life. It's common to want something different than what you currently have. We do this all of the time. We humans are always hungry to be more and have more. There's nothing wrong with wanting more if you seek to create a positive experience for yourself and others. Complacency and comfort are boring and limiting. Good for you, if you have big desires and dreams you want to experience. This yearning for a bigger and more fulfilling life is very common. What's not common is doing something about it. Taking the steps necessary to act on your desires can be scary. It's fundamentally difficult and natural to resist doing, learning, and experiencing new things. This creates a battle in your mind. You desperately want to create some significant change but at the same time, you don't want the uncertainty, discomfort, and possible failure that comes from making an effort. This experience is fueled by that inner voice that doesn't seem to find much good in anything. It's always critical and confusing. How can the same person who wants to achieve his dreams simultaneously have an inner critic giving him many reasons why he shouldn't make the effort? This experience can be very frustrating. Name your inner critic. Don't listen to negative self-talk. Give it a name instead. The thousands of thoughts you have every day are mostly automatic. Sometimes they are great thoughts, sometimes not so great. You may even occasionally have a conscious thought that surprises you. This is all normal. The key is to not act on every thought you have. In fact, you should ignore most of them, especially if they're negative. This is easier when you give your negative inner voice a name. Think up some silly, comical name. Perhaps you want to give your inner critic a name you don't like. Then, the next time he says something negative, address him by name. This is as easy as saying, Shut up, Larry. I don't listen to you. You don't have to name your inner voice, Larry, but you get the point. You make this an entirely different person or entity separate from you. Once in a blue moon, Larry might have a great idea. If that's the case, then you can listen to him. Most of the time, though, especially when you start entertaining thoughts of changing your life in a big way, Larry is going to try to stop you. 
If you want to act on your desires to realize them, name your inner critic. The next time he starts chattering away, trying to convince you how many bad things will happen if you act on your dreams, tell him you're not listening. Then, take the next step to turn a big desire into a bigger reality. The first thing you need to turn your desires into reality. Lunch is several hours past, and your next meal is dinner. What are you having? Perhaps it's early in the morning and you are thinking about breakfast. Whatever meal is next up, what's on the menu? What are you going to eat? What does all this talk about eating have to do with turning your desires and dreams into reality? It has quite a lot to do with it, so bear with us for a minute. Let's look at mealtime a little differently. What is the last meal you ate? Think about it. Was it tasty? Maybe it was nothing to write home about. Did it fill you up? Whether it was filling and flavorful or not, you ate something. How did that happen? Sure, you picked up the food and placed it into your mouth, chewed and swallowed it. We're not talking about the physical action. How did you end up eating? The answer is simple. You decided to eat. You were working or playing or doing whatever, and you noticed you were getting hungry. You thought about getting something to eat. Then you looked at what you were doing. You decided how long it would be before you were able to eat. You started thinking about what you would eat, how you would prepare it, or where you would go to purchase your meal. You went through all those steps to get the food in front of you and into your body. Whether or not your meal was filling and fantastic, eating it started with a decision. That decision led to actions that turned your thoughts into reality, the reality of you sitting down and eating the meal. Nothing happens until you decide. Decide is the six-letter word that gets you started taking action on your dreams. Your desires are powerless wishes until you decide to act upon them. It's your decision to make. You can decide to continue to make excuses, or you can decide to take action. Nothing in your life changes until you decide to change your life. Continue to do what you're doing, and you will continue to get the results you've been getting. Make changes, and you will get different results. It truly is that simple. Never settle on a life that is good enough. You deserve more than that kind of life. You have strong desires and dreams for a reason. They are what you want for yourself. They are the reality you know you deserve. Decide today to act on them rather than just thinking about them. Dreaming big dreams is fine, but they'll only be dreams unless you decide to act upon them and turn them into reality.